<laughs> We're already having fun on air and we haven't even started yet. <laughs> if you're not up, wake up, wake up, wake up. If you are up, tune in now to the Whittemore Community Magazine's Hour of Power right here on WPJS 1330 AM. Or you can catch us on www.wcmagazine.net or www.wpjsradio.com. We are here today. We're ready to talk about building new bridges. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Economic development. Let's just stop well, at the first one. We, oh, <laughs> just... My special guest said we can just stop at the first one. But you know what? That's a show that is on. That's going to be a great topic today. I'm telling you, Conway. I hope you are tuning in right now. Again, we're the Whittemore Community Magazine's Hour of Power right here on WPJS 1330. And of course, we always begin our broadcast by sending our prayers, thoughts, and acknowledgments to our listeners everywhere who are sick, shut in, and bereaved. And then, of course, we have to do our roll call of all the communities and jurisdictions that are listening in and that are under the leadership of our wonderful councilman here. The umbrella. Yeah, the umbrella. the umbrella. It's a pretty big umbrella, isn't it? It's a it? big umbrella. I'm trying to tell you. Horry County alone is a big umbrella, but... You know, we're global, PJ. Amen. Okay. We're global, so we have a lot of ground Amen. to cover. But, of course, today, particularly, we're going to be c focusing on Conway. Come on. All right. So, Conway and surrounding areas. Let's start with Allentown. Got Allentown. Go Aner. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Bayboro. Bucksport. Okay. Burgess. Uh, Ketchup Town. Ketchup. Oh. What? You know what, that PJ? Go, did that go too far? No, you went deep into the vault right there. Uh -oh. I might have went out of bounds. No, you did not. <laughs> well, let me add that to the list right now so we don't oh. ever forget. And then when you say something mm -hmm. and then they look down and shake their head, you know you made a mistake at that point. So. <laughs> That's just one we normally do not call, but thank you for Well, I was thinking us. about it on the, on the way here. I said, I got to say something they've never done. Got so. us. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I love it. So, okay, Bucksport, Bucksville, Carver's Bay. Uh, let's go Hemingway. Hemingway, Choppy. Uh, Georgetown? They go, no, no, Georgetown? No, Georgetown is great. I'm playing off of you, so I'm going to what you got. We good. Georgetown, uh, Maryville down in Georgetown. Plantersville. Whiteville. 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 North Carolina. There you go. Whiteville, North Carolina. Coach T down in Carver's Bay. Carver's Bay. That's right. Uh, let's see. Pauley's Island. Poplar. Um... And I'm looking on your paper, and I, I oh, stole it, right. but hey, hey, Darden Terrace, do Dar a Sunday school class down there. Darden Terrace, Carpenter Town, we cannot forget that area, mm -hmm. absolutely. All right, Marion and Mullins, yeah, Gresham, Friendship down in the Gresham area, Britain, Britain's Neck. I feel like you've done this before. Something like that. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, I've done a little bit. <laughs> Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach, yeah. I can't go with Myrtle Beach, oh. I can't. <laughs> I can't go in Myrtle Beach. You're just a little bit biased. Yeah, this is a tad bit. bit, a tad bit right <laughs> I can go North Myrtle Beach. Okay, about, all right. North, Myrtle, North Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. Beach. Okay, all right. Soccer Steve. We'll get a call if we leave out Soccer Steve. And uh, as Brother Edward likes to say, well, I'll say Little River, and then he says... Big River. Big River. Big River. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The Hand Community. Uh, I think we said Paul is out. Uh, we, we've covered a lot of ground there. And of course. Let's go to Sand Ridge. We'll yeah, Sand, Sand yeah, Ridge. Yeah, we can do it. Okay. Sand Ridge, Spivey Alley. Uh, we always hit the highways 378, 905, 501, of course, north and south, 701 north and south. Nine. Everybody. 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 Even Highway little, 9. Even the little dirt roads down the street. Even even the little dirt roads. roads. That's roads. right. If you, if, I'm telling you, if you on a dirt road and you listening in, call us. That's right. We want to know where you're at. We wanna, <laughs> hey, we want to pave your road. We want to pave your road. Yeah, call, call in. The council That's the says first we want to pave your road. That's the first step. <laughs> you heard that from the council. <laughs> no, I'm it's just, the first step to call in and I will work and on it. And let us know. I know that. Promises right. are not tonight. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we, we always have fun with the roll call. And, again, if you're listening in and we haven't called your area, please give us a call at 843-248-2890 or 843-248-6365. Again, you're listening to the Whittemore Community Magazine's Our Power right here on WPJS 1330 AM. We have a special guest who is no stranger to our station Definitely a welcome guest on our show, none other than my friend, my brother. 
Class of 88. Class of 88. I love him, y'all. City Councilman Ashley yeah, Smith. Yes, yes. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great, April. Well, thank, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Guys, I, I appreciate you having me. I'm telling and you. And you, yourself, Educator of the Year. I saw that. How about Ashley, that? Ashley, thank you. Man, I keep up with 88. Doing big things. <laughs> we try and help. Well, we're not trying. It's accomplishing. We're doing it. it. We are doing it. Yeah. A lot of people can try. We can accomplish. That's right. Well, thank you very much for that acknowledgement. It's definitely an honor. And uh, I appreciate all of my peers who nominated me and of course the administration of Ori Georgetown Tech for selecting me for that award and uh, I'm gonna live up to it as best I can with the help of the Lord of course uh, and of course Ashley is here because he is doing some big things in this area he's one of my favorites in the Thank city you. of Conway because you know when you think of the work that needs to be done in Conway it's real easy to uh, identify the people who are boots on the ground who are effective and impactful voices in our area, and, and Councilman Smith is certainly one of them. And so today, uh, we've invited Councilman Smith, and of course our mayor was gonna join us today, but had a, an emergency situation that she needed to attend to. Nothing nothing bad, she's just taking care of a personal matter. Uh, she will have her on the show sometime later, uh, in uh, the, the maybe later on in the spring, but uh, Ashley is certainly able to give us some updates on what's going on in the city of Conway. Yes, and so, we'll do that. yeah, so that's what we're going to talk about today latest developments, things that are happening. Of course, the number one item <laughs> on everybody's oh list yeah, the bridge project. Yeah, the, the bridge, the bridge. Uh, the bridge is that's all you have to say. The bridge, and, and I got in a little trouble Monday night, but. You know, you know me as well as anybody, and I'm going to speak my mind. Yes. And if I feel that, that Conway as a community is getting left behind, um, I'm going to speak out. Uh, South Carolina DOT was supposed to be at our meeting. Um, there was a mix-up in communication. Uh, they added three months to the, the bridge project to make it around Memorial Day, uh, which, you know, it shouldn't have been a surprise to me whenever they started the bridge. It was supposed to start at 7 a.m. that first day, and they didn't get everything lined up until about five o'clock so the bridge went closed. So if they couldn't close it on time to, to, we to lost close, the whole day. We lost the whole day. So when that happened it wasn't a surprise, but somehow I can say miscommunication and they did not come to the meeting. It wasn't our local person. Um, and she got drugged through the mud and I've talked to her and it's not her fault. Uh, it is uh, a lot of people are upset, which you know hey, there's a reason to be upset. Mm -hmm. But but when you don't come to the meeting it shows to me blatant disrespect. And, and what I did, uh, again, I, I probably shouldn't have. I, I should be more grown up than that, but I, I'd had enough. And I have a sh shirt that says Conway Matters. Yeah. And, and Conway Matters. And, and this sounds bad, uh, but you know, I'm here for people from Conway. I'm not for people for Columbia. I'm not a state senator. I'm not for Charleston. And it seems that these communities, they get all of the, everything that they need, everything that they want. And, and it may be that they, they know how to run the system, and we're not doing a good job of running the system. Uh, but to me, it's a, it's a personal issue when, because it started with the flood. Mm -hmm. uh, there were things that were done in the flood that the city didn't really know about. And we actually tried to sue them. But what, what it did, it got people to the table. Right. And it got people talking. Mm -hmm. Now, again, we, wouldn't, we never would have won that lawsuit. It would have been frivolous and it would have been money spent. But what it did, the next day, it got Horry County, City of Conway, SCDOT, the governor came down. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things happened. So with that in mind, that's where my mind started going whenever you know, they did, SCDOT did not show up to the meeting. And, and what it's done, again, I guess this is what you have to do every time. Mm -hmm. Now there's a meeting now in Columbia with Kevin Hardy, uh, Jeff Johnson, all of our representatives, and they're talking about what can be done and how can we get these lines of communication, how can we get the bridge going faster. And you know, traffic, <laughs> there's there's Ooh, nothing with a capital T yeah, period and, at the end. And, and I don't I never like like to say there's nothing that can be done. I, I don't want to say that. Uh, there's some some tips. I'll leave a little early. I would love to see some businesses start at seven and, and leave at four and, and eight and mm -hmm. kind of stagnant. But it's tough to, to make somebody do that because mm -hmm. to me government shouldn't tell a business when they can go. Mm -hmm. But for for personal reasons, you know, driving out there in that traffic is brutal. I don't know if you guys have been out there across oh, yeah, the bridge. I, I do my best mm -hmm. not to go across the bridge, mm -hmm. but sometimes you do, and all it takes is a couple of impatient people, and they cut in front, and then there's a wreck. And once there's a wreck. You know, that's when that's, that's when it breaks loose, and then that's when people get upset. And, and it may just be an extra two minutes, but extra two minutes on the road, that right there is 15, 20 minutes in my mind. That's right. 
And today there was a car on fire by Lake Busby. I heard about uh, it. Yeah. And, and again, I was in it. Mm -hmm. So, and, and you get there and you want to tell people uh, what you need to do is turn your radio on and listen and, and read the Bible. And, and yes, and on paper, that is a great thing to do. Or we're sitting in the studio. Great. But when you're out there and people are blowing the horn and people are cutting you off and you've got the red or the green light and they're cutting in front of you and you can't get across with mm -hmm. your green light, mm -hmm. it, it gets a little frustrating. So, uh, there, there's no great answers to that, uh, is be patient, but I, I want the citizens to know that it's South Carolina DOT not passing the buck mm -hmm. by no means. Uh, we are in discussions with them, so we're not just sitting back and taking it. Um, as I've had some of my friends say that, you know, hey, you need to say something. If not, you know, you're, you're the voice for this community, for Conway. You've got to say something. If not, then, you know, we'll get somebody else in there who will. That's right. And, and hey, I agree with that 100%. If I can't handle if I'm not doing my job, then somebody needs to come in and do it because it's for the citizens of Conway, and, and we're the one that's taking the brunt of it. That's right. And, uh, you know, you're right about the, uh, the, you know, the traffic matters in the morning because uh, what used to be, for example, maybe a 10-minute or less commute for me from where I live to where I work, you know, now it's turned into roughly about 30 or 45 minutes. And, you know, I'm one of those persons that is just constantly shaking my head in traffic thinking, okay, people, you drive the same way. Yeah. We all need to, you know, pretty much strap up with our patients and uh, just realize that we're getting nowhere fast. Yeah. And so there's no need to, you know, uh, to drive recklessly or uh, to disregard the, you know, the safety that, that we need to uh, make sure that we're uh, using on the road. Uh, people... As far as the, the frustrations and what's going on, of course, a lot of that is because uh, I think once the date was placed in the media, out there by the media, that there would be a March completion date. I don't believe anybody really believed there would be a March no, completion date. I wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted We're like, to. oh, maybe it is that to. simple. But we know that, that bridge is, what, it's 115 years old? Is yeah. it something like that? Yeah. And uh, I, it, it really did take a lot of wear and tear during the flooding with those, you know, heavy 18 wheelers driving over that particular road. And, and stopping on that And road. stopping <laughs> on that bridge. And normally that traffic is, uh, I mean, that's why there's 501 bypass. That traffic, you know, goes uh, up 501 and it makes the, the left at Red Hill in order to go around, uh, you know, 501 business. And so structurally, like you said, we don't know what's going on with that bridge. Uh, I think early reports were that the repairs that were planned, at least from one article I remember reading, uh, the repairs that are planned for the bridge would only last about 15 years. So that's interesting because it sounds like patchwork. That's and exactly what it is. It sounds like that's, patchwork. That sounds like that's what it is. That's patchwork. Yeah. So I know that one question that's been asked, uh, people want to know, is it possible to just, you know, scrap the old bridge and build something new and solid? And if so, what kind of cost would that be for the city, and how long would a project like that take? It, has that even been a consideration? It, it, it is a consideration. It's been in the past. It has come up. Now, these are South Carolina Department of Transportation bridges and roads. They're okay. not the city. Okay. Uh, so as, as far as I know, it wouldn't cost us anything, just gotcha. state taxes okay. and, and that. Um, but that's a great idea. Uh, but I don't know... In our lifetime, mm. we could be pretty old when it happens. Mm -hmm. um, and, and what I've understood is that they like to, to patch stuff up and you know kind of just ease into it and have other projects. And it's it's kind of like a, when I was little, I used to watch the Peanuts. Right. And you had Charlie Brown trying to kick the football. Right. And, and you know he really believed that he was going to kick the football. And right when you go to kick the football, they pull it back. And I feel like that's Conway and, and DOT. I feel mm -hmm. like they were there, there, then they pull it back. So, and, and I want us to have a good relationship. Uh, what we have done. Um, that we can control. We changed some light patterns. Okay. Uh, we did have some uh, different, the first day people were complaining that this light was on for this, so we had to call DOT, and, and so we got those changed mm -hmm. to have it a little longer. Mm -hmm. uh, we have signs uh, going at 22 to, to tell people coming in from Aner, and, and that, you don't need to come through Conway, go 22 mm -hmm. and, and come around. So that's going to alleviate some of it, but make it more like you have to go 22. You, if, if, if you don't need to come to Conway, you're going to send traffic. And the less people that we have coming down the 501 corridor, and I noticed the mm -hmm. exact backwards for Chamber of Commerce, because Gary Lee will pop me in the back of the head for saying this. <laughs> but for right now, we got to get, you know, at certain times, especially 8, eight o'clock in the morning and yes. 5 in the afternoon, yes. we got to do something to get, you know, these cars out of there. But that is something that the, a new bridge would be great uh, right now. Uh, I don't know how feasible it is in the next five years. 
Uh, but what you have to do, you have to start, you have to plant a seed somewhere. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, if we plant the seed and it has been planted before, but we get bypassed every year. Exactly. Every year. But what they have to understand is that we're the gateway to Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Uh, this is where, you know, because evidently this was the most important entrance to Myrtle Beach whenever the flood came. But mm -hmm. once the flood left, we weren't really important anymore. All right. So, because when they dammed it up, and that's exactly what they did, they dammed Conway up to have water come back into the community. Mm -hmm. Um, and when they did that, they told me that you know, the, the only hospital was Conway Hospital, is what they told me, that that was the only one you could get to. And what happened is you had billboards uh, down the street in Florence and billboards in Columbia that said Myrtle Beach is open. Come Myrtle Beach, it's summertime, come on. They have those wow. commercials. And the only reason I know that happened, and it's a fact, because I had a family that was in Atlanta that saw a commercial and they were coming down and they said, no, the, the, they called and said, hey, come on. Yeah, everything's good. Mm -hmm. So with the traffic we're talking about in the flood, there was people backed up that didn't realize that they were in a, a flood a zone. A flood zone, They yeah. thought that somebody was in a wreck. So that's where you had churches out getting water trying to explain to these people. And I don't think DOT understood the, the dangers that they put the citizens of Conway in. When, when those 18 wheelers are going through downtown Conway mm -hmm. and stopping on, on the bridge, mm -hmm. and, and I saw it, there was two 18 wheelers, there was a, a like a small car, oh, yeah. and 18 wheelers. I'm thinking if I was in that small car, I would lose my mind. Exactly. Because <laughs> you don't know, because I've been under that bridge when you know concrete has fallen down. Exactly. So it, it's a situation to where we need to get our citizens. Uh, to call in, they got to call the governor's office. Don't call SCDOT, and we'll find that number. And I'd love to give that number okay, to you, mm -hmm. put it on the web page and everything to to call and let them know what your displeasure is. And hey, if it's for city council that we need to do our job, tell them that. Again, this it's a transparent, open thing, and, mm -hmm. and that's what we have to do. We have to make phone calls and we have to be heard. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were just talking about, uh, of course, 501 being a main thoroughfare for people coming in and really, I mean, it, it is the main area. And what's interesting is that even with the construction of, uh, you know, 22 to kind of take them around, people still have not caught on to that mm -hmm. as a way to get around all of this. And it's kind of a, I don't know, a double-edged sword, I guess, because Conway businesses, I don't know if they can afford for all of the traffic to actually bypass Conway. But the, the bottom line is when it comes to safety issues and of course the flood, uh, that was one thing that we never experienced before, at least to that magnitude. But during hurricane season, when we have these evacuations and things of that nature, we're always seeing the, you know, how gridlocked this area can be. Uh, one person posted on Facebook, uh, she says, I have but one question at this time. Have they figured by now that Conway needs more than two bridges across the walkabout? So I guess that's that thing we need to talk to the governor about. That's it. That's what we, we need to make phone calls and be heard and tell your, your your kids that are old enough, tell your grandparents, everybody just call. And, and again, a lot of people call calling SCDOT, and I think that's good, but I think you need to call the, the governor's office because they control who gets the money. Mm -hmm. And the legislators, Jeff Johnson, uh, Luke Rankin, mm -hmm. um, those guys, they control what happens. And hey... It's, it's politics right. and again we need and I'm not saying we don't have strong leadership up there but we need to have some hard hitters and, and tell these guys this is what we want exactly and, and again and there, there's people that probably don't want people to use 22 I would think Myrtle Beach the city of Myrtle Beach would not want you to go to 22 because then you're going to North Myrtle Beach mm -hmm. and where are you going to stop mm -hmm. so again there's all these conspiracy theories and some of them make a lot of sense mm -hmm. and so there's there's big power players over there in the Myrtle Beach Chamber of Commerce that have a lot of money and mm -hmm. I can see Different things happening. I'm not, and actually, and I am accused. I don't care. That's not what it is. It is. Okay. It is what it is. So, yeah. you know, you're fighting a lot of things, a lot of TV shows. You're fighting. It's mm -hmm. what it is. It's, it a, is. it's a TV show. So, mm -hmm. and I always said that I'm, I, I may not ever leave the city of Conway because if I go towards Myrtle Beach or somewhere else, I may not, you may never see me again. <laughs> so, <I'm, laughs> but again, I'm here for the, the city of Conway. I'm mm -hmm. not here for the city of Myrtle Beach. And again, I'm friendly with everybody and, and I want everybody to work together. Exactly. But, I mean, it's almost like my kids, that they come first, and City Conway comes first. Exactly, exactly. You're listening to the Whittemore Community Magazine's Hour of Power right here on WPJS 1330 AM out of Conway, South Carolina. And, of course, <clears throat> excuse me, you can catch us on WCMagazine.net or WPJSRadio.com if you want to listen in your office or from your mobile device. We'd love for you to join this conversation, <clears throat> excuse me, especially if you are... Uh, resident of Conway and you have some concerns or questions for 
the honorable councilman. Eh? No, don't say the honorable. <laughs> now, I mean, now I will say this about I don't like that, but I do like getting mail at home and my wife has to. I say, what did I get right there, baby? And she says, no, oh, shut up. <laughs> you, said, you want to read it? I said, just read it to me. Exactly. She said, you better go on about your trip. You know what? You're on the trip. <laughs> you're on the trip. But, uh, okay, so, you know, we've talked about, of course, you know, what uh, appears to be some of the challenges that we have right now with this bridge project. But then, of course, I read on the flip side, that downtown Conway business owners are, are liking a little bit what's going on. Yeah. So what's happening? Yeah, and, and what I understand is that it's not as busy downtown. You would think that's kind of an oxymoron. Like, wait a minute, it's not busy. Well, the cars aren't running through town. And I, several businesses have told me that they're making more money now than they've made, which is good. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't want to get too comfortable with that. But right. some of them are not. The, you know, the cleaners and those types of businesses have Again, I'm, I'm a guy of habit, creature of habit. Mm-hmm. If, I, if I have to make a left turn and I normally take a right turn to go somewhere, it's going to be tough for me. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited to hear that some of those businesses are doing good, but I don't want any, everybody to feel like, okay, well, they're fine because they're, they're doing exactly. good. Because that's not that's not everybody. That's a, that's a couple of businesses that are doing good. So mm-hmm. on the whole, I don't think everybody's doing great. I think that, you know, I, I really like the idea of having festivals. Coming up in March the second, we have a gala. The gala festival. Yeah. Awesome. You heard about that, PJ? No, it's going to be good stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and that's like going by a recreation department. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about that later. But, yeah, we're going to do that. And, and, mm-hmm. and, and I had some ideas from citizens. I love it because you know, sometimes they'll come up and they'll say some of the craziest things. But then you'll get one. And it's like it makes sense. Why, why not have a festival while the bridge is closed? Have a festival every month. Yeah. Just to bring them down, and like and then you give these guys maybe some discounts to come to the shops and. Yeah, again, everybody has ideas, and it's easy for me to say. And then the recreation of the people would be like, "Okay, man, I'm, I got football going, I got a lot of stuff, going, lot of stuff on. going on." Yeah. But it sounds good. But I really like the Gullah Festival coming up. Um, it's going to be a great uh, cultural environment mm-hmm. for everybody. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm excited about it. That is awesome. If you want to join our conversation, please give us a call at eight four three two four eight two eight nine zero or eight four three two four eight six three six five. And we have Councilman Ashley Smith here. Uh, he's ready to answer any question. He actually doesn't have a problem talking. Uh, he doesn't have a problem. Never met a stranger. I'm telling you, he's the bomb.com. So yes, you he is. You, you want to call in and and just let him know. You know, voice your concerns, and if you have any great suggestions or ideas, uh, you know, things that he can, uh, you know, take to the table. And of course, one of the most important things that. Uh, our city council members and our mayor are always uh, encouraging us to do is to attend these city council meetings. Please, at all means. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they now, happen uh, on the second or Monday, second Monday, and the fourth, I think. Second so. and fourth Monday. Now, some of them are boring. Now, don't get me wrong, because <laughs> that's where I do have problems. Right. I, you know, some of those things that I'm like, oh my gosh, make it stop. But you know, I, I like to do stuff outside of that. Right. I mean, again, I'm not a meeting person. Mm-hmm. Now, I do it, and I'm, I'm getting a lot better at it. Mm-hmm. I really am. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, at first I was sitting up there, my wife went to the meeting, right. and one of them, and people were talking, they said something, you know, just the same thing like four times. Okay. So, and I had the whole, you know, like, <laughs> you know, I roll in, my wife's like, okay, you know you're in front of everybody. Mm. And I was like, okay, you and I, so now I kind of have a stone face. Okay. And, but but they're, they're very educational, you learn a lot, and then when you're there, there's public input, you can right. say what you need to say. Mm. Uh, as long as it's not a personnel issue, and we will address it. There, our staff is right there. We don't have interaction during public input, right? But we point you to where you need to go, and that's really I've learned being on council. That's what eighty percent of the people they want. They want a, a direction. They want to be heard, exactly, and they want to know where to go. They don't want somebody to call you. They're like they'll call me, and then I don't get back to them. Mm-hmm. And I may not give them the right answer. I've had people mad at me. Mm-hmm. But I, they, I think they that respect That kind of comes it. with the territory. It I comes mean, with the territory. Yeah. But they respect me that, I, I believe they respect that I get back to them. I say, listen, you can't do this because mm-hmm. this is the route we need to go. Yeah. So we're always trying to solve problems. And there's you won't ever know how to do it unless you go to the city council meeting. This and, is true. And I loved with a uh, mayor, uh, Miss Barbara, when, when they had the town hall meetings. That, mm-hmm. that, that was good. That was good. Um, and I would like to see us get back to that. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people don't feel comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable going to the city hall because it's old and, you know, historic and mm-hmm. you have to dress and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when you're in Conway Middle Gym or Conway Elementary School Gym, you can come as you are. Right. And, and that's how it should be. You don't have to, no matter what you look like, what kind of clothes you got yeah. on, and you got a problem, and it, it should be solved exactly. at that point, no matter where you're at. Mm-hmm. So and that that's, again, need to uh, go to these public meetings or it, don't complain. Exactly. Actually, you can't complain, but yeah. it's going to be, I'm going to look at you and go, 
Like, what, what, <laughs> come see me. Exactly, exactly. And I mean, it, of course, you handle uh, city government business at the, the meetings, but also, I uh, read recently, you all are doing some great things with some declarations to some of the young people. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think, was it Eagle Scouts? Eagle or? Scouts, yeah. three of them, three of them just yeah. passed through. And that's just a tremendous honor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I love doing stuff like that. Love, that's one of the good parts of the job. Mm -hmm. uh, like when we named the football field after Pete Wills. Yes. You know, that's one of the things that, you know, and I, I want to do it while they're alive. Exactly. I, I want them to enjoy it. And, exactly. and the Wilkes family uh, has been so much to this city. Mm -hmm. um, those kids, uh, that that's, you, you want other kids to see mm -hmm. this happen. Say, hey, I want to go in front of city council. The I don't care if we get. A young wrestler from Rivertown oh, Wrestling. And he's, yeah, he's, all he's, that. Kids yeah. in my class. Yeah. And you should, they, they had, we had a day for them. It was awesome. it was the, the greatest thing. Mm -hmm. And to me, that, that gives that kid a, a sense of accomplishment. Exactly. And it, confidence mm -hmm. and then then his friends are like hey you know I want to be like this guy okay and then that's when you get one person good two four eight then mm -hmm. it multiplies and that's when you have something good working and I, I told Miss Miss Barbara and I call her Miss Barbara but that's <laughs> Miss Barbara to me but right. I, we can give a, I, I can give one every every Monday night. Mm -hmm. We do it. We give a hundred mm -hmm. of them. I don't care if it takes an hour. Exactly. Now some people don't like that because they, they they think it cheapens it. But if I accomplish something, yeah, you know it may not. And I'm I'm a sports guy. Okay, but I appreciate the ballet. Mm -hmm. You know, just because you do ballet and I do basketball doesn't mean that we can't do. Exactly. So, hey, honor these kids, honor adults, and that's what it's about. That's what that, that's, that's what this, that's what our city is about. That's I it. mean, you know, if we want to be Conway strong, Orange County strong, and we want to push the idea that Conway matters, then we have to uplift everyone. But, but don't do it. it. It's not something you put on in the morning and take off at night. Exactly. I, and, and that I see a lot of people do that in, in government that they it's a red hot issue. Like this bridge is red hot. But I promise you, no, yes I do, I promise you, in June or July, when there's no, when there'll be traffic, when there's no traffic after the mm -hmm. summer, that this whole thing will be forgotten. And mm -hmm. that's not what I want, that's like the flood. Mm -hmm. um, we've been talking to Kevin Hardy and Spiel about doing a dredging, uh, the, the rivers and the swamp, um, and I was told that's not no matter. Well, you know, perception, it makes you feel a little bit, a little bit better exactly. when, when stuff happens. Uh, on 22, if we can get a canal, my goal is to get something to stop the water before it gets to Conway. Exactly. And I know that's selfish, but that's, again, where I'm, I'm with Conway. If you if you do some kind of canal, and there's a study that, that's been going on, mm -hmm. and it's in the works, but I don't want it to die. And, and that's what happens sometimes. Then something else happens, and, this, mm -hmm. and it gets knocked down to the third or fourth peg, and, and that's where it gets a little uh, tedious. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where I don't like the government part of it. I like to get things you. done and let's ride, but mm -hmm. there's, there's a process, and... And we're following. Well, I think when it comes to community, uh, you know, and I'm not in government, but when I think, Maybe. Of, uh, when, I huh? think <laughs> when I think about what? my government, we're moving on. I'm when not I think finished. about my government. Uh, I'm, I'm, getting ready, hey, I'm getting ready to host this show here shortly. I'm going to let her take this part. <laughs> he did. Don't you do it. Are you pointing? You better knock his yes, mic off. Yes, <laughs> sir. Hey, we look good sitting together. I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> DJ. Yeah. <laughs> when we think about our government sure. leaders and <laughs> integrity and trustworthiness and just the believability of it all, you're right, Ashley. It's more than just tackling the issue as it's happening. It's about the follow-up and communication and making sure that people know that there's still something happening even after the red hot has has Let people off. see you're Let doing Let people stuff. see you're doing something, you know, just communicate the updates and that's why we're here today. So you're listening to the Whittemore Community Magazine's Hour of Power right here on WPJS 1330. I think we uh, need a little commercial break. What you think, PJ? We can do that. Yeah, because I tell you, Ashley's a talker. <laughs> I believe he talk the entire hour. <laughs> oh, we got a call. Wait, let's see what the call is before we actually go to commercial uh -oh. break. And um, some things that we can touch uh, bases on in the second half. I uh, want to just touch yeah, on, upon the... Uh, the you know flood issue. Uh, we'll go back to the Gullah Festival. Talk about that a little bit. Right. You and I, of course, we're just playing around with the election thing. Uh, we'll talk about what's coming up with you know election soon. And then uh, if there's any other things that we need to uh, talk about, we'll have time to do it. We'll Conway Tiger basketball, oh, definitely. Absolutely, because this is the voice of Conway Tiger Radio. Right? <laughs> okay, yeah, we have a caller. Caller, you're on the air. Yeah, uh, and our caller was just uh, saying that she attended the uh, council meeting and. Uh, that Ashley has brought a lot of clarity to what was going on. And uh, again, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it, it is what it is. And, and we as citizens of the city of Conway need to know what's happening. Uh, we're not trying to make this traffic pattern our lifestyle. You know, we're, no. we, it, it, hey, get it done and, and let's get back to our normal. And uh, so we, we need the answers. And I believe we got the right people in place. Yeah, and yeah. one other thing, we'd like to see the more 24 7. That's right. Councilman. Oh, say that again. Yeah, 24 7. Yes. Uh, Councilman Shane Hubbard is 
uh, really fired up about that. I'm excited that he's on council because yeah. he's had a lot of ideas and a lot of things. But you know, if they work 24 seven, exactly. you would knock a lot of this out. And I understand there's construction and I don't want to take them away from their family, but what we're doing every, if you're taking an hour in the morning, an hour at night, you're taking two hours away from my family. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we had a, a, a crew, crew one, crew two, I don't know how they do it, but I'm sure there's, there's got to be a way. I'm not the smartest guy in the no, world. No, you're common absolutely sense right. That's there. a common sense plan. Um, if you right. go 24-7, uh, plus there's less traffic at night, uh, you can get stuff done. So we're, we're trying to get that done. That's nothing definite, but that's Councilman Hubbard is uh, all over that one, and I'm behind him 100%. You know, it's interesting because you see that kind of 24-7 work up north. Yeah. And down south. Yeah, probably where they have a little bit more money. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we need to come up with that because that's the only way to get it done. This is not a you know, eight to five project. We're talking about a bridge that is pretty much cutting off, a, a, you know, the life, one of the major lifelines mm -hmm. in the area. So we, we got to make sure that uh, everything is in place. So like I said, we can get back to our normal. So again, thank you, Carla, for that. And thank you, Ashley, for the first half. But you're going to stay with me for the second half, right? I'm here all night. Well, that's what I'm talking about. The, the quiet storm at 9 o'clock. Hey, 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 that's there wrong. we go. There we go. <laughs> so after commercial, we'll be right back. And again, you're listening to the Whittemore Community Magazine's Hour of Power right here on WPJS. 13:30 a.m. out of Conway. Joining me today is my homie, mm -hmm. class of '88. One of my favorite persons in the whole wide world. Yeah, I mean, you were probably they, we were in the same class, but you were probably in the upper <laughs> echelon. I was probably in the no, we, 488. No, you were I don't. I always tell my kids at, at Conway Elementary School because I'm do the. Uh, the, the crossing in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they come by and they're laughing. Mr. Smith, hey, hey, well, it was raining this morning. And I'm standing out there. And I told him, I pulled this one kid decided to play his football. Good guess. And listen, this is, this is how it's going down. This is what C's and D's are doing right now. Okay, A's and B's are in that classroom right now, making up their, their planning period, everything. So I'm just the A's and B's, you? C's and D's. And of course, I'm like, I don't feel like this. No, 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 no. Never mind. I derailed there. Go, go that way. So. You, Ashley, you are a mess. <laughs> no, Ashley, you know good and well that we, we, were, we were always good in, in uh, high school. And uh, I'm telling you, Ashley's been the same way for forever. Uh, for forever. Just a, a constant, uh, very friendly soul and a sweet Thanks. spirit. And I just think that, you know, you're doing big things. And I'm so excited about uh, the impact that you have in our community, and I want you to keep being that voice, okay? Well, I am. Yeah, keep, uh, keep, keep putting off your shirts and showing Conway Mattels uh, and all yeah. that other I, stuff. Like I said, I was a little nervous because I didn't want to pull up the whole shirt. Right. I, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to scare the kids. So you know, I have dropped some LBs. That might have been a little much, but. But hey, I, I will say this. I'll announce it here first. I will be running uh, this coming up here, so I will absolutely be seeking re-election. Yes, yes. And that's not why I came on here, you know. Well, I, know that's, that. I, I know it's not, but it was on was, my list, everybody. It was actually on my list to talk about. Like I have running mate. Yeah, I talk about the uh, the uh, uh, PJ. Why are you smiling so hard? Uh, <laughs> I don't think PJ yeah, wants to I run. I think it's time to say hello to our sponsors. <laughs> Thank you all so much for sponsoring the Whitmore <laughs> Community Magazine's Hour of Power. And also the Whittemore Community Magazine in print, and you can get an e-copy if you'd like. Just visit wcmagazine.net and let us know that you'd like a subscription to our magazine. If you want to be a sponsor of the radio show or even our magazine, we do have some affordable rates that you uh, we can give you some information about. And of course, it's a great way for you to advertise your business and get some information out to our community about what you're doing in this area. So thank you to Waccamaw Primary, Dr. Winston D. McIver for your sponsorship, Greg Graham at Snag and Drag Towing, J. Odell Bradley with Park Papa's Barbershop. We also have uh, uh, Palmetto um, uh, uh, Chevrolet that's also a proud sponsor, Ori Georgetown Technical College, Miss Margaret Soul Food, Seafood House. Tanya's having a birthday this weekend for her 45th birthday. And I heard, actually I read on social media that she's doing all you can eat, seafood, shindig, at her restaurant on Saturday. $15 all you can eat. What? Yes, sir. What time would that start? I, I, I don't know the time. Tanya, if you are listening, call in and let us know. If I can find it on social media before we get off air, I'll let everybody know. But I'm sure traffic's going to be out on, on 501 for that. I'm, I'm sure it is. We're just stopping, I mean, get you something to eat and waste two hours. There you go. I mean, it may take some people 30 minutes, it's going to take me two hours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we also want to thank the Mu Iota Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated uh, for being a proud sponsor of our magazine, Latimer's Funeral Home, Ocean View Funeral Home, as well as 
McKeever's Funeral Home for also being sponsors. Ralph J. Wilson Sr., Attorney at Law, Horry County Adult Education. We do appreciate you. And Quick Services, Kenya Keith, Mr. Man, Wrestler himself. Mr. Wrestling. What I'm telling you. State champion. State champion. Exactly. He's doing some big things oh, as well. Absolutely. This wrestling. I gotta service. get Kenya back on air to talk about the Rivertown wrestling and yeah, all that again, good stuff. But that's that's a, such a disciplined sport too. Mm -hmm. And he's doing a great job with those guys. Mm -hmm. Great job. Absolutely. So again, thank you to our proud sponsors and um, I have a few other announcements and I know Ashley's gonna be able to help me with this and of course we're gonna talk a little bit more about the Gullah Festival, but Congratulations to the mighty Conway High School Tigers for winning the 2018-2019 yes. Region 6 4A Championship. Great season of basketball for Coach Hopkins, his staff, and the Conway High School Tigers. But also last night, they were competing up in Lexington. Fell a little short, but guess yeah. what? It was a great season. Great season. Yes. I mean, Coach Hopkins was the Region Coach of the Year, Tonka Hemingway Player of the Year. And that Tonka Hemingway, he's a special kid. Yeah. And, and you Didn't know. Oh, gosh, he's All-State football, All-State basketball, also the starting first baseman uh, for the Conway Tiger baseball team. But a kid, you know, is, is somebody that you want your kid to be. Yeah. He is a, the most humblest guy. And I try to pull him aside to get him a little cocky, but he, you know, he, he, he ain't going to happen. The, the closest he came before uh, they were playing James Island on Saturday, he had one of the old LL Cool J Congos hats. No, he did red, not. And, and shooting, I was like, I he, and see, uh, I was like coming out of your shell a little bit, but, but Kenny Hemingway will uh, will put him back in his place mm -hmm, quick. But, mm -hmm. You know, those guys that they played hard, uh, the third straight year they won 20 games, and that's unheard of. And, and Coach Hop doesn't get a lot of credit, uh, but he deserves so much credit because yeah. those young men. Um, he has them on the straight and narrow in, 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 the, in the classroom. Mm -hmm. um, Braxton Graves, and now I know I'm gonna forget some guys, but. You know, Kenny Hemway, Deontay Sherman, Dexter Sherman. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, D. Shouts uh, out to D. Man. Yeah. And mm -hmm. It's just awesome to see those kids come back. And I've known them since they were seven, eight years yeah. old. They're the same age as my son. Uh, so it's, it's great to see them do what they're doing. And, you know, this year they weren't supposed to be good. Everybody, because, mm -hmm. you know, Jimmy Nichols leaving and starting at Providence. They lost a lot. Lost the Moody Brothers. Mm -hmm. Alabama and East Carolina mm -hmm. lost a lot. De Dwayne, Deontay Sherman, no, Dwayne. Rangers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I messed mm -hmm. that up all the time. You want the firm, firm start That's quarterback. Right. Mm -hmm. So you lose four of your stud players. Yeah. And you come back and make a, a third round run. And it was exciting to be able to to broadcast that game. But you know, it was fun the first two games when they won. Uh, but that last minute you get a little a little choked up because you know those seniors are never yeah. a lot of them are never gonna be on that basketball court again. That's it, right. It's a family. Uh, when, when they go up there and they they were crying and you see these men you know, Timothy Steele, he's 6'3", 270, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he's crying, and, you know, Mr. Smith, I'm like, okay, I can't do that, man. You got, <laughs> I can't do it with the big man crying, but, right. you know, and he cares. And, and that's what that's what you love, and that's what they bring that back to the community, and, and they go to the rec department, April, and, and these young kids see a Taka Hemingway, a, a Timothy Steele, a Braxton Graves, mm -hmm. and Deontay Sherman, and, and they want to be these guys. That's what it's all about. And, and that's what, I, and we've been missing that for about five or six years. We've missed that that opportunity and, and that's what you know Conway High School is getting ready to get a new athletic director don't know who it's going to oh, wow. be okay. and I'm hoping that that person that comes in uh, builds those relationships with the community has them coming you know the, the athletes going to the schools and reading mm -hmm. uh, going to the rec games and watching because I remember when I was a kid I, I would look up the Med Rainbow yeah I would look yeah. up um, to Michael Ballard go ahead now he's in the vault y'all and, and okay. I, would, I would sit there and I mean Gilbert Johnson was the first person I ever met oh, man. When I met actually Bruce yes. Jones was the first one but Gilbert Johnson me and my dad walked into the to the gym, and I'm from a little town called Graniteville, which is smaller than Ainer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I see Gilbert Johnson, who's the biggest man I've ever I'm seen in my life. I'm trying to tell you, he was a, a tree. A Standing by yes. Michael Ballin, who had the biggest ankles <laughs> in the world. <laughs> he did. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm not in Kansas anymore. Exactly. But those guys became my brothers. And, and I met Mammy, mm -hmm. uh, Janice DeWitt, who was probably the best girls basketball player ever to come out of college. Yes, ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. Leah Brown, those mm -hmm. girls. And, and my dad coached them. My dad wasn't a, a basketball coach, but he coached them. And all of a sudden, he was a good coach. Exactly. Because <laughs> you had Mammy and Francine Jordan, those, those exactly. girls. Exactly. So it's history. And see, I love history uh, of Conway. And I want these young kids to look up to, to a talk of him anyway. So 20 years from now, when he comes back, you know, the, it, mm -hmm. it's a cycle, and, and that, that's what you gotta have. You gotta have a brotherhood and some love. When you when you put those kind of examples out in front of our young people, 
uh, if it doesn't remind them of what they can be, it does give them hope of what they can yeah. be, you know? And, and I forgot one, because he's the meanest dude ever when I was younger, but I love him like a brother's Craig Conwell. Yeah. And now, when I, when I say he's mean, now, he was tough for him. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, I'd act up and he'd put me in a place. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I love Craig Conwell. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Craig and Med and those guys, they, they were men. They were exactly. men and my boys. And, you know, I emulated them. Mm -hmm. and, and, hey, I'll say, I mean, I was a white dude emulating a bunch of black dudes. But that's that's how I grew up. And it I was always wrong. say he's a, actually a black dude trying <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not I was elected. When I was getting elected, they said, you know, are you white or black? So I'm not Mashley. I'm not. And, and, and there you go. And it's not, it. and I don't say that to be some mm -hmm. speech or not, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I love those guys. And, and I want our kids to, to be the same way. Right. So that, that's where I'm at with that. And I, I miss, you know, Mad Rainbow. Yeah. Man, we did a whole show on him. I'm telling you. And, and Mr. Leroy. And because I remember he, his dad was coaching at Myrtle Beach and he played at Conway. And I thought that was the oddest thing. Isn't like, that crazy? I was glad he did now because he was a guy. And, <laughs> and speaking of a uh, mammy, she actually posted on Facebook, Bill Smith's son, my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That was my first girlfriend. Oh. I, 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 I hate Michael Hopkins. Oh, that. Coach Hop, did well, you hear that? <laughs> the story behind that, I, I had gotten some trouble. Uh -huh. you, I don't know if you believe it happened, but I got some trouble. And, and back then, yet. the mm. parents, they, they didn't put me in timeout. My dad kind of took care of the problem. So I was still kind of sniffling. We were going to North Myrtle Beach to play them in the basketball game. And mm -hmm. I was a little manager on the basketball game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mammy's got that deep voice. Oh, yes. And, yeah. and I'm upset. She's a force. And, you know, Ash, what's wrong with you? I, you know, I'm kind of trying to get, get over here. So she's babying me. And my dad's getting madder and madder. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm in love. I'm like, well, this is, exactly. I'm going to come in crying all the time. Uh -huh. So last night, when, when after Conway lost, that I introduced Mammy to my daughter. And Mammy introduced, it was the same kind of introduction. Yeah. And my daughter's eyes were like, Oh, I can talk to mama. Today. <laughs> exactly. I might have to talk to my mom about this, exactly. but but you know it, it's it's just awesome to, to yeah. grow. Like I, I had the best life. It, my mom and dad were divorced. I lived with my dad, and it was just. Oh, best your dad life. was the best. Yeah, yeah, he, he was great, man. I'm trying to tell you, yeah. So um, it is, and it's wonderful that uh, Ashley is taking his love from for community from school into the community. That's what it's all about. And of course, we're talking to him today about updates. Uh, of the city of Conway, what's happening with us. We've been talking about the bridge project. Uh, he touched upon some of the things that are uh, topics of discussion constantly uh, surrounding uh, the flood issues and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> as you said, you're up for re-election. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when does all this take place? Well, it's just November, and usually it starts in the summertime. Mm -hmm. And, and I, last time I ran, I got to about when it was October. I got tired of seeing my name on the side of the road because mm -hmm. it gets kind of a little much. Uh, so you got to put the signs out and, and I, I'd rather go out and talk to people because I, I remember I used to work at a restaurant and I used to get in trouble because I never wore my name tag. But I told my manager, I said, if, if they got to look at my name to find out what my name is on my name tag, then I'm going to do my job as a waiter. So I want to go out and talk to people and you know, and it seems like you know, a lot of people think it's, it's peaches and roses and everything, but there's sometimes that I, I get somebody and they, they raise cane. It's mm -hmm. all. Well, and I respect that, but that's what that's part of it. Well, that, let's solve it. That's right. And and I go wherever I need to go. Mm -hmm. And you know, you got the mayor's coming up for re-election. Uh, Larry White's coming up for re-election. Tom Anderson also, and the mayor um, is doing a fabulous job. Yes. She's doing mm -hmm. a fabulous job, mm -hmm. and uh, love her yes. to death. Mm -hmm. She's uh, and, and she's so personable and. And we're a lot alike because we would because because we get, I, I guess, emotional about stuff. And right. you know, she'll cry in a heartbeat. I mean, <laughs> you look at her wrong, she'll she'll cry. And I told her, I said, listen, you got to pinch your ear. Mm, and I made that that's up. That's the secret. Oh, I made it up. Well, she, I know she's talking and pinching her ear. Oh, I'm like, okay. So I had a little, but, hey, but it worked for her. Yeah. But you know, she'll come to our school. Um, Larry White and, and Tom Anderson, mm -hmm. they, they're doing. Everybody on council is doing their job. It's, it's a good mix. I'm not discouraging anybody from running because we're trying to talk people into running right now. I believe we are. Um, and again, you need new blood in there. A lot of times, and even, you know, I, I said that I was going to go and do certain projects. Okay, my first project was getting kids into the right department, not being $10 a, a, right. an hour or whatever it was. To get it where it's not a country club. Mm -hmm. I know it's a bad word, but uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. I wanted the kids in there. And it's worked out. Our membership has actually gone up. People predicted it would awesome. go down. It's gone up. Awesome. It's kept kids off the street. That's right. And it's not all about basketball. There's a swimming pool in there. There's weights. There's stuff to do. Because mm -hmm. it's so stereotyped that, oh, we're looking at the gym, they'll play basketball. That's, mm -hmm. that's the dumbest thing ever. We want kids to come in there and be kids. Exactly. Now, there's some older people that, that don't like it. Well, that's I, and that's the right. I understand. But if they're paying the money, what they're supposed to be paying, and they, everybody gets in, then that's what we're that's doing. Right. And, and we're doing an ADA park. Uh, an inclusive yeah, park, and it's, yes. it's going to be so awesome. That's we got awesome. about $250,000 that we're going to build that. 
Uh, that was two. Um, three was the Woodmore Park Elementary School project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's one of those things we don't want because flood and this and then stuff mm -hmm. knocking down. We're trying to get to where it's going to be. It's going to be the best thing that we can have right there. We've mm -hmm. got the land, we got the building. There's mold in the building. We're trying to figure out the best way to spend that money. Mm -hmm. um, and when we have that. Um, we have a center where, where more kids can go. Exactly. And then you don't have to have a chief dead along. He was doing a fabulous job also mm -hmm. uh, to, to have to deal with these kids. Mm -hmm. And even whenever we, we had a police escort uh, last uh, yesterday mm -hmm. for the kids. Mm -hmm. and, and some of the kids were like, oh, we don't need the police here, you know, something like that. And it was joking, but I don't even want them to joke like that. I don't, exactly. I, I don't want them to think bad with the police. Right. I want them to know, hey, they, they, these guys are for you. They're community and, people. And, mm -hmm. and they were clapping for them whenever they came out. So, again, that's part of the, the community aspect. So there's... There's some things that I want to do, that I want, some more things I want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And once I accomplish those, April, I, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. And then I'll let well, somebody you know, done. Not done, done, but you know, at that point I'll be in my 50s. Mm -hmm. And then it's a young man's game at some point, and I'll be there for guidance. Because mm -hmm. there were people there. Larry White was very good to me. Mm -hmm. Barbara Blaine was very good to mm -hmm. me to guide me and how to, William Goldfinch, and, and how, to, mm -hmm. how to do stuff. Because when I came in, I came in like, I'm doing this, this, and this. Well, that's not how it works. Right. And a lot of right. people thought things that Ken Richardson, and, and Gardner are going to come in and, and do the other. Well, you got to have other. You got to work with people. Mm -hmm. You got to have the majority uh, to do things. And I think we all work together. Mm -hmm. um, our city administrator Adam Emmerich is amazing. And, and when I say he's amazing, he's proactive. He jumps on things before um, it becomes an issue. And, and he is so great for this city. And we I, had Adam on the show. He's good. He's, he, yeah, he's, he's good. so smart. He's the smartest guy in the room. I, I don't even like talking to him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, but he 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 really cares about this community. Right. Um, and I can't say enough about what he does and what uh, Chief Long, mm -hmm. um, our police chief, and Lee Hendrick, our fire chief. It, it's just such a, a it, again, it's our team. That, exactly. that's, and I'm a team guy. I'm yeah. a, you know, Conway Tiger Sports. And this is what I, I see. If, if one person's not doing their job, we, we help them out. Mm -hmm. and, and D.O., uh, Brandon mm -hmm. told me, mm -hmm. he said, there's some things, he was explaining some race issues with me. Mm -hmm. He says, well, actually, well, you know, when the elbow hurts, you know, you, you got to fix your elbow and your body. Everybody, your whole body mm -hmm. goes to that. So that's that's what we're doing. But everybody's trying to work together. And again, you're going to have some, some people that ain't going to buy into it. Right. But hey, we're, we're moving on. Exactly. And, and we're going to be a better Conway mm -hmm. in the next 10 years than we were in the last 10 years. That's right. That's right. We have to make sure that those people aren't the majority. That's right. And, everything and that's we can absolutely. to elevate positive race relations in this area. And you're absolutely right. So, uh, okay, we know you're up for re-election in November. That's great. Your, your platform has been strong. And uh, you mentioned the, the Whittemore uh, Park uh, project. And I actually attended a meeting where you surveyed the community. You know, and, yeah, and that's key. And that was great. Yeah, you yes. actually got community input, you know, and that's something that's really fresh in this area. Because the community lives there. Mm -hmm. and, and I live somewhere else. It's not what Ashley Smith wants. Right. It's not what Adam Emmerich wants. It's what our community wants. Correct. And I may not like it, but you know what? Mm -hmm. it, the people speak. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes down. Exactly, exactly. So, um, uh, back. let's touch upon the flood issue for just a second. Now, uh, of course, we're all hoping and actually praying that we never have an event like that again. But, of course, people have talked about the fact that it's been said that it may happen again. So, uh, you know, what are some things that are happening proactively uh, to make sure that we're better prepared the next time? Well, we're attending meetings with the county okay. uh, to go over what we can do to, to get better to where the water won't come as fast. To where we can dredge some things out. Uh, Ms. Barbara is on some committees uh, with the state level mm -hmm. to get the communication better. That, that was the key, I think, the communication of the water. I don't know there's a lot of things you can do to stop it because the way that hurricane came, it stopped for about three days and it's kind of hung out. Mm -hmm. and, and as you know, a lot of that water comes from North Carolina. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, I made the comment, got in trouble, but I'm, I'm among family. I can say what I said. I said, hey, if it was up to me, I'd put a dam right there at the city limits. <laughs> and they, you know, and, and block box it mm -hmm. off. But and that's not how you solve problems. Mm -hmm. You don't do it that way. Mm -hmm. And I backed up from that. And I apologize. Mm -hmm. But that that's we we, we got to find a way because you know Crabtree Swamp came down. Usually the football yeah. field's underwater. Yeah. Well, in the biggest flood in the history of Conway, we had it, the football field was not underwater. Mm -hmm. So that tells me maybe we're not cleaning our drains enough. Maybe we're not doing different things. And yeah. again, there's small things that, and I could be way off about the drains. But to me, you know. The, who knows? Try. We got to try anything. Mm -hmm. I, and I want the public to think, to know that we're doing stuff, not that we're sitting back and, okay, um, here comes, it's going to rain. Oh boy, what are we going to do? Let's, exactly. Let's, uh, let's get our stuff. Because that's not how I want to live my life. That's not, I'm sure, how you want to live your life. We want to live to where, you know, it's, it's fruitful. Everything mm -hmm. is going to be, 
there's going to be tragedy, but it doesn't need to happen. And if I hear a thousand year flood one more time in my life, <laughs> that, that's that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Because I've, since I've been on council I've, three times, mm. okay, three times every fall, mm -hmm. it seems like. So that that's the scary part. And you know when you have friends, you know Sydney Barner called me mm -hmm. when when his sister's mother or his mother they, they were trying to they right. get some help mm -hmm. down there and, and and you feel like you you wanted to swim to them. You, mm -hmm. you, there's sometimes you can't do anything and preventative maintenance to me is key. You, right. you got to you know reassess and Lee Hendrick is like you said the bomb dot com. Mm -hmm. He's the one who he's he, on our show a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. he does mm -hmm. stuff. They, they actually had a train. They probably told you about it right before it happened. Mm -hmm. So our, our staff knew exactly what to do. Exactly. And uh, Taylor, our uh, public information officer, is doing a super job. And you're, you're right. The flood. We, we gotta we gotta be on it. We gotta have citizens out there. There's trash right now on the streets. We need to form so a task force to, to go out and just pick up some trash. I'm, I'll do it. Hey, I'm, I'm in. Mm -hmm. and, and I saw that the Florence police did that. And, and there are different areas of town uh, that, that need to be addressed. And, you know, I don't want people to come driving through on 378 or on 501 and they see trash on Correct. the ground. That's the Correct. first thing they see. Mm -hmm. and, and, and another big issue that I have mm -hmm. is signage. Uh, yes. and, and last night I, I had Andrew Cook riding with me mm -hmm. and my daughter and we're riding through Aner and Aner has the big sign and, they and, do. and Adam's all over this now so I'm, I'm okay. not telling you Adam's all over okay. this and then you get to Conway and you see this little sign that's in the dark you don't see it right okay and, and a lot of it has to do with land issues and other stuff and I want it to be like Disney World when you drive to Disney World hey, you're welcome you're right you're coming into the house and that's you can't a pretty impressive that. sign for Aner it's it very, is, impressive. Yeah, it's very and, impressive and again mm -hmm. Adam and it's in our budget to do something mm -hmm. but you got seven different people want seven different ideas and that's right. where it gets a it spreads out a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So we're working on that. Signage is big. So mm -hmm. if we can get people where they're supposed to go, uh, again, it wasn't a part of getting people out of Conway or out of Myrtle Beach. That that really wasn't the issue. Mm -hmm. the, the, getting out wasn't an issue. Getting in, in when you're trying to go on vacation. And, and it's a bad taste in your mouth when you got somebody with suntan oil on the nose and they're coming through and I'm, I'm swimming through junk. That's true. Um, I'm not here for your holiday. It was it was surreal. Like you said, people coming through vacation and not realizing that, you know, just off that road or just off the main highway, somebody's house was underwater. You know, it's, it's really, I tell you, uh, we, like I said, the prayer is that we never have to go through it again, but it's good to know that the city of Conway is already thinking about those proactive measures. Yeah, and we, we have a uh, system where we call people mm -hmm. uh, if something's in danger or something's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and again, that's a tribute to Adam. I mean, he's, right. he's, 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 he's a leader. He is our yeah. leader. Um, Mayor Blaine mm -hmm. Bellamy is our leader, and I always mess up her last. She is mad. That's why it's called Miss Barbara, because I'm like, I don't know where exactly. 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 We're so gonna call B three. B three. Oh wow, that's there, there you go. Good. That's good. There you go. But it, it's it's impressive to work for a group of guys like that, mm -hmm. and you don't do it for the money. And people say that, and they're like, yeah, whatever. But you, I mean, you ain't working city council for no. money. I promise. <laughs> no. I promise. But you know, it's an honor mm -hmm. to serve the city of Conway, the whole city of Conway, mm -hmm. and. That's what I wanted to do when I when I took on this thing three years ago. I wanted to work for the whole city. It's I always been said the three, whole city. It's been three years. It's a long time. Well, I got gray hair now. It's getting. Like they the, said it happens to uh, government politicians, some, government leaders, things like that. And you were thinking hard. That's what it is. The wisdom, wife, wisdom. The wife says it's sexy, so I'm. Oh, I won't hey, well, hey, as long as she's good with it, right, PJ? Yeah. Okay. Mom was happy. Everybody's happy. There you go. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. There it is. Gosh, there it is. is. Well, again, we yeah. have a uh, great Gullah Festival that's going to be happening March second. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, Addison Gerald, he's our recreation director. All right. And he. Uh, Shay Sherman is, is one yeah. of the big big guys, and I advocated for him to get hired. Mm -hmm. um, love Shay; he's come through our program. Mm -hmm. And again, it's one of those kids. Right. We got Mikael Moody out there right. waiting on, in the wings, and, and Shay has a, a, a fresh ideas of what we can do. Awesome. And, and he got with with the Gullah um, people and mm -hmm. got it set up to where you know we're going to have a festival. And it's going to be a yearly thing. I think and, that is awesome. and I'm excited. I'm excited for yeah. the food. You know, the big food. guy likes food now, so I'm all about oh, doing that. It's going to be off the chain. I know that. That's yeah. like when I do advertising for the radio. <laughs> You know, hey, listen, I know where to eat. You know, yeah, exactly. Hey, the one legged man knows how to get from A to B, and I know how to eat. I'm just saying. Exactly. So, you know, the Gullah Festival is going to be March 2nd, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be uh, right downtown, so we don't really have to close a lot of roads. No, nope, you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, the parking, it'll be easy to park. It's going to be um, right downtown, and 
the, the roads. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna be an awesome experience. Awesome. And the first one may not be super huge, but what I've learned from the festivals that we have with our fall festival, spring mm -hmm. festival, year two, mm -hmm. year three, you just gotta keep it going. And I promise you, Miss Gerald's gonna get involved. Yes, of course. And it's gonna be, without her. and with, with Coastal Carolina, the Schofield, mm -hmm. she's gonna be running around. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's exciting, I'm, I can't wait. That's awesome. Well, uh, of course, Ashley has given us some great information about the uh, Gullah Festival that's coming March the 2nd. And, of course, we have a few other community events and happenings brought to you by the network uh, that I want to talk to you about. For just a second, before we leave the air, uh, A Father's Place hosted its first annual Building Futures Awards at the Crown Reef on last evening. And, of course, we'd like to send a special congratulations to City Councilman Larry White, who was uh, honored with the Lifetime and Leadership Award, as well as Sherry Coutain. And the Spiritual Leadership Award went to Bethel AME Church, as well as the Father of the Year Award to Dr. Winston Mac Jr. McIver. Wow. Did you know that? I, I knew that one. I didn't know Larry White. See, that's how humble yeah. Larry is. That says a lot about him, because he says not, said nothing about it. Wow. Didn't, didn't make that. Again, that's a big deal. Big deal. Really and big I saw deal. Dr. Mack getting that, I'm, and mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, want to hug him. Cause I'm telling you. I got to see him tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to hug him after that. But, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know, hey, he might tell me some stuff I don't need to know, but, you know, what an honor for, for Dr. Mack and Larry White. Yeah. That's, another one. that's great. Absolutely. And, of course, just want to let you know that uh, Educate Our Youth, a 501c3 subsidiary of the, of the Mamie Keith and Aileen Bradley Education Foundation, will host a free SAT workshop on Saturday, March 9th at C3 Coffee Bar at 1701 Church Street, and that's the Old Shoney's in Conway, and this workshop is from 9 to 1 p.m. Lunch will be provided to the students who attend the workshop. If you're interested in signing your, your student up for this particular event, contact Janet Thompson at 843-465-7456 to register or visit Educate Our Youth dot info and again uh these events and community happenings have been brought to you by the network ashley it has been an oh, honor it. to sit it. here with you i want to come back now you go back. that's you know what we need to have him on here at least once a month <laughs> i'd love to bring some updates i'm telling you and i mean about what you're doing in the community you can talk about uh, what's going on with Conway High School sports? That's that's the heart yeah. of our community, and you know we just love to have you here just to talk. You can help yeah. co-host the show. How about that? <laughs> well, I, I want to talk about what we're doing in the community, and I, yeah. it's not my because and my big thing now is you know it's amazing what we get accomplished when nobody cares mm -hmm. who gets credit, and mm -hmm. that, that's the key there. But what I want to tell you, listeners and viewers, is that you need to call the governor's office. Yes, You've got to call the governor's office. If not, it, we're not doing any good. That's right. The more phone calls, squeaky. Will gets the, the oil. The oil, that's I, I, right. That's, that's, that's right. one of those little sayings Grandma that's said. It's true. And it's the truth. Mm -hmm. and, and until we, we let them know that we're here and we're not going anywhere, it's the same thing's going to happen. All right. Let's make it happen, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Whittemore Community Magazine's Hour of Power on WPJS 1338 AM. We hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week, and we will see you same time next Wednesday. Be blessed.